CBS 1910 at 10. An East Texas boy who has seen his share of challenges needs a forever family. And dealing with his special needs hasn't stopped Savion from being a joy to be around. His story in tonight's Children Are a Gift on 10 at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Gates. Looking ahead this morning, the East Texas Summer Food Program begins this afternoon. The program gives free meals to children that receive free and reduced meals during the school year. There are over 60 sites in East Texas where children can go to get the meals. They offer breakfast and lunch at each location. Along with the meals, the program offers supervised activities. Children have, uh, are eligible for the free and reduced lunch programs at schools and their families come to rely on those. So the summer food service program is uh, there to really replace that so that those families don't have the burden for those expenses during the summer. In 2013, the program served over 100,000 meals and this year they hope to exceed that. Also, the East Texas Food Bank will be serving its millionth meal during the summer program. A follow-up now, the city of Athens is evaluating new safety and zoning measures. That's after the fertilizer storage facility fire that happened right in the center of town late last month. No one was hurt, but the threat was enough to spark concern. As of right now, no final plans have been set in motion. The city attorney has reached out to the fire chief to go over what the current safety standards require. And through that, they'll develop what new safety measures would best suit the town. A Smith County family plans to rebuild after a lightning strike sparked a fire that destroyed their home. Multiple fire crews were called out to the home on County Road 1222 around 9 Monday morning. That's just west of Tyler. The fire started in the attic and quickly spread throughout the home. No one was at home, but the fire killed three dogs that were in the home. The homeowners tell CBS 19 they built the house themselves 10 years ago. Well, after lots of rain yesterday, looks like the sun may be coming out again today. Yeah, let's check in with Scott Fossey. Clint, Dana, your forecast today on this Tuesday. Early morning patchy fog, cloudy skies, the rain and the storms of yesterday, while very beneficial to the area in the way of rainfall totals, now pushing off to the east. We'll see a diminished opportunity for wet weather today. Deep east Texas early this morning, rain and storms. Otherwise, temperatures climbed to near 80 by noon today. Your daytime highs round out in the mid-80s. Yesterday, to give you a comparison, official high was 78. Should touch about 85 today across across the region with a west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Big upper level low pressure circulation over northeastern Oklahoma will actually sag southeast today, clipping parts of the Arklatex. The heaviest rain and storms off to the east of that low pressure center may see some wraparound moisture in the form of an isolated shower or two this afternoon, early this evening, but generally along and north of the I-20 corridor. Otherwise, we're looking at a warm up over the next several days. Return for rain on Thursday. Highs tomorrow near 90. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And then tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Hope you have a great day.